of AceFraleyLesPaul.com on YouTube. The song I'm going to focus in on today for you is one of Ace's earlier Kiss songs, and specifically it's the song Parasite, uh, originally off of the Hotter Than Hell record, but more specifically I'm going to focus in on the Alive version, since I think that's probably the version that most people gravitate towards uh, when they think of this song. It's a great song. Uh, the solo or the lead work that Ace did in the song is uh, really simple, straight ahead, good old classic rock and roll. Uh, first position, G minor, pentatonic for the most part. Um, and again, I'm tuned down a half step just like Kiss was, so everything that I say as far as keys is concerned is all relative to that. Uh, so again, G minor, pentatonic for the majority of the song. Um, including the basic body and the main riff of the tune. So here we go guys, this is Parasite. So the core element of the main riff in Parasite, um, and really this is kind of a, a three riff song, um, that's how I like to think of it. Uh, the first one is the chromatic and the intro uh, riff that starts on the F. And basically, it's just a chromatic riff between F, F sharp, and G. And it just keeps repeating over and over. The third time through, we end it by hitting a second inversion, B flat. So all you're doing is hitting third fret on the D and the G string. Okay, so I'll play the riff slowly for you. And it's really important that you play this slowly and get your picking hand and your left hand working together um, and then build up speed because the articulation and the rhythm of this riff is what really establishes the song. So it starts like this. After that point, that's where the bass and the drums and the rhythm guitar come in as well. So I'll play that riff for you just a little closer up to tempo so you can feel what it should be like. Okay? And then that part of the riff repeats. Is what the guitars are playing uh, over top of the verses and the lyrics in the verses. And basically all that is, is just transitioning from the G, or G minor in this case, and then we're going to a B flat, and then G, F. So what I'm doing there, guys, is just playing the, uh, again, the second inversion of those chords um, to simplify the movement so that my hand's not jumping all over the place. So we're going from the B flat, uh, second inversion, so just playing the D string and the G string, to the G on the A string and the D string, to the F, again on the A string and the D string. And what you're ending with there is an A flat, uh, again, second inversion, just playing on the D string and the G string. And then back into the main riff. And that's how both guitars play it on Alive. Uh, the one little difference on Hotter Than Hell was that Ace played the exact same riff, but he played it an octave higher. So up here on the 15th fret. It's the same thing, but then you gotta slide down here and play the riff down here. 
Um, it definitely has, in my opinion, a lot more meat to it uh, with both guitars playing it down here in this position. Okay, so the third Very cool. part of the riff is uh, the chorus part, which kind of emulates what the vocals are doing. But it's pretty simple, uh, and it just stays between the first and the third frets down in the low position here, using the A, D, and the E strings as the roots. You're also only playing uh, fifth chords, um, which is just the root and the fifth. It simplifies the process, makes it easier to move around. So what we're doing is sliding from one to three on the um, A string as the root, and then dropping down so that the D string is the root, three, one, and then, Okay, so one more time slowly, all the way through. And then you're set up to go back into the riff. So playing that a little bit closer to speed. Straight back into the main riff and back into the verses. All right, so the first part of the guitar solo, guys, incorporates uh, G minor pentatonic first position and G minor pentatonic fifth position. So what we're doing is we're doing octaves between the low G and the high G. And then we're not doing pull-offs with this. You got to pick them. So it's five, three, zero, and then five, three, one on the A string. And the reason that you play the B flat down here and not up here is because it sets you up for the next part of the riff, which starts on a C. G flat, and then back and you repeat the same thing. Alright, so now you've got the first part of the guitar solo down and you're set up to get into the first bend which happens on the fifth fret on the G string and it's you pick it down stroking has to be down stroking on this nine times <laughs> and on the tenth time you're bending down okay so let's try that again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, the tenth one is the drop down. Then we're going hammer on between the third and the fifth frets on the A string and ending on a B flat. And then again, stretching the G string or bending the G string on the fifth fret with a bit of a rake in there as well. Then we go up to the 15 to 17th fret, doing exactly the same thing, hammer on, and then a B flat, just like that. Now you're bending on the B string on the 18th fret. And ending on the 15th fret on the G string. So three times there, one, two, three. Now hammer on pull off between 15 and 17 on the G string. And then bend the 17th fret G string. 
and that's the 18th fret on the high E string. Okay. Then we do a little bit of a slide up first and then down again to get us back down here to the first position G minor down here. Sorry, I kind of goofed that up. So all that is, again, that's pull-offs, five, three, open, and then three on the third fret on the D string, and then ending on the fifth fret on the A string, okay? So we'll play that part up to speed or a little closer to speed all the way through up to that last little bit there. Okay, so So the last little part of the guitar solo here in Parasite, and I think this is probably the part that intimidates most people because it's the part that gets fast. But like I've said, guys, most of Ace's stuff is typically in the first position pentatonic, and the out outro part of this guitar solo in Parasite is no different. It's strictly between the sixth, fifth, third frets on the E string, six, five, three on the B string, and five, four, three, on the G string. And it just incorporates some picking and some pull-offs, um, but that's the position. So usually what I'll do is I bar my B string and my E string with my index finger. That way I don't have to move them while I'm doing this or move it while I'm doing this riff. So it starts off slowly and then it accelerates. And that's the pattern that you're always doing throughout. You're picking three times, And on the third one, it's a pull-off between six and five, and then five and three. And it just keeps repeating that. Until you reach a point at a certain speed where you're just doing pull-offs, triplet, eighth note triplet pull-offs. And then you do the same thing sliding down one string to the B string. And then you slide down one more string and do it on the G string. And that's it. It's really quite simple. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but eventually you will. So a little closer to speed, it goes like this. Okay, just a four count on each one. The next little section is really simple again. It's just a pull off between the fifth fret using the G string and the B string and open. And that's it, that's pretty simple. And you do that, I think it's six times. And then you slide up to the 17th fret doing the same two strings to the open. And you do that four. Okay, so six times down here. And four. Then we're bending up, barring across the E and the B string on the third fret. And bending up uh, on the fifth fret on the G string. A typical Ace Fraley type bend. And then we're sliding back up here to 17, or pardon me, 15 to 18. And that's another typical Ace Fraley riff when you play it up to speed. 
Okay, we go a little quicker with that. Okay, and that's the end of the solo. So again, that whole little section put together there. That's the end of the guitar solo. Then you're back into the main riff. Right? Okay. So now I'll put that whole guitar solo uh, together for you um, from the beginning, playing it a little closer to speed so that you can hear what, uh, what it actually sounds like when you put all of those parts that I just showed you together. Okay? Like this. That's it for Parasite, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully next time I won't be quite so long before I'm able to get back and do another video for you. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later.